Okay, so let's use our imaginations here and pretend that we've got an awesome video and now I want to export it. This is just a silly little thing I threw together, you know, free pizza. It's uh, dinner time around here on Friday, so I'm getting a little hungry. So we'll just go with this and have some fun with it. Now the export option is over here on the right. I can click on this button to expand it or I can use the Command E shortcut to open that up. And we have four options as of the making of this video, which is in version 1.08 of Kinetic Text Animator. We have MP4, WebM, QuickTime MOV, and PNG Sequence. Let's go ahead and start with MP4. And as I export this, now if you're working with a longer video, you could potentially see it's ghosted slightly here. You can slightly see through here. And what's going on is it's creating a series of actual PNG images temporarily. And then it's kind of compiling those, those all together to create a, f a full video and that's what this process so when it says it's processing the timeline that's what's going on um, <clears throat> so there's there's a little bit of a process going on there and then now the important thing here is that if I want to name I can put this in whatever folder I want all that good stuff but when I export this I need to make sure that I may uh, keep that mp4 extension there or it's going to cause an error so if you're going to rename this you got a whole selected if I go in here and I go you know Bob, I'm just, I wouldn't name it Bob, but you get the idea. Um, and I don't have the extension there, it's going to throw up an error. You don't want to do that. You want to have that .mp4 there as well. So um, just be, just remember that. So when you're seeing something like this and you're exporting that timeline, again, what well, you can, if you have a longer video, you might be able to see what's kind of going on here in the background. And then when you get to this point, you want to name just the file name, uh, hello temp file, whatever and um, then you can uh, you, you need to leave that extension on there no matter what the format is okay um, I'm told that some people say that you know you don't have to do it if it's just an image if, but if there's a video or audio you need to I, I would just say just be in the habit of making sure that that mp4 dot mp4 or whatever the extension is is there when you click on save so let's go ahead and cancel out of that now we have M WebM which is kind of a web format it does result in a very small file size it's meant largely for the internet. It's new. We thought it, it, it's, it's an easy option, so we went ahead and put it in there. For those of you who haven't seen a ton of use of that, QuickTime MOV and PNG sequence is largely there because you ha do have the ability to go into the settings and set the stage to transparent. And then you could have some sort of text animation or something on top of it with, if you don't have a background image, and you can export with transparency. Now, here's the thing about that. With QuickTime MOV, that's um, decreasingly supported on the PC, the Windows PC in particular. As of April 2016, Apple stopped supporting it. They, Apple is um, a very wealthy company, and so they suppress that information, but that is the case. And um, if so Camtasia, the most recent version of it, for example, uh, no longer supports that. Now, what you can do is go to a site like oldversion.com and go to their QuickTime section there. Let's go back to their main page here. <clears throat> and you can go down here to QuickTime if you're on a PC, by the way, and then you can try to install a version of th that, is, that was uh, put out before uh, April 2016. I don't. I think that 2011 is or 12 is one of the latest ones. But you can install that and see if that will work for your video program. But um, in many cases, it doesn't. I've just heard a few people say that this has worked for them, so I wanted to mention that. Um, the PNG sequence is another option. Of course, if you export to the PNG sequence, um, you want to make sure that whatever video program you have will import PNG sequences, but it's given there as an option. Finally, we have GIF animation support coming probably. And I say uh, probably because um, we got it sort of half working. Um, and uh, so, you know, the PN, you know, GIF animations, um, they result in, uh, we, you know, we wanted to have good quality and, and all that kind of stuff, but there's stuff from the stage that it was ignoring when it was exporting. We'll get that in there if we can get it fully working and, um, and so forth. So there you go. That is, oh, by the way, there, you do have the ability to adjust the frame uh, per second. And uh, if you find that it's exporting slow, you know, you might consider dropping it down a few frames and see if that helps you out. Um, and so forth. Uh, and of course, if you want to really kind of boost the visual quality, you might want to go higher. It will take longer to export. So that covers uh, exporting from Kinetic Text Animator. Thanks a lot for checking this out.